Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So viewer question from Lorenzo Del Biondo. Um, I'll just summarize this one. Uh, so Lorenzo played with a pure drive most of his life. He's currently in college. So Lorenzo um, has elbow problems. Uh, he's saying that the pure drive is too stiff and he's asking me to do a review of the top rackets of today. So Lorenzo is saying that the pure drive is too stiff and his arms hurting now. Um, and that is actually true. That's actually really true for a lot of people graduating into the college ranks. Um, I mean, at 12 years old to let's say 16 years old, that pure drive, that banana arrow, um, possibly a clash or an ultra, um, those rackets are great for that age group. You basically get help, they're lighter, they're more powerful, uh, they're easier to play with. You can easily get away with a lot of shots with those type of rackets. That's because you're a little smaller. As you get to being 16 to 18 and you're growing into yourself, um, getting bigger, stronger, you don't really need that power anymore. So most kids who graduate um, from the high school ranks or are in the high school ranks, um, after they get bigger and stronger, they actually put away those pure drives. They put away that, that banana arrow or they put away that clash. Um, it's time to play with a control racket because you are now stronger and you don't need the help from the racket anymore. So what do these kids graduate into and start playing with, you know, at that 16, 16 year old is what I'm thinking most of these kids graduate into a, let's say softer, more control racket. Um, and what are they? Um, what I see and what I recommend are the ones that I have on this table here. Um, I mean, there's no, really rhyme or reason to what they are. Um, I just like for the kids to use these, you know, to basically neutralize their power. They can hold the racket, hold the ball in the racket a little longer and use their own power. They don't need it from the racket anymore, right? So, um, so I'm gonna actually start with rackets that will provide you with a little bit of power, but still have control. And I'm gonna start with the Babolat Pure Strike. So if you still, you know, need a little bit of power, you know, a la Pure Drive, Banana Arrow, um, then these are the easier transition. I see a lot of college players using this. They're just used to that Babolat feel and they're used to having slightly a little more power um, easier to generate spin. Yeah, these are great for you. I see a lot of college kids using this. I recommend this um, to certain kids who you know, still can't quite do without the power. So if you're thinking about like a security blanket, this is kind of a transitional blanket, let's say. Um, although I do see a lot of kids you know, playing through their college careers with this. Um, 1820, or the tour versions would probably be what I recommend if you're strong enough to tote that tour or if you are if you hit through the ball, we go with the 1820. Um, if you're not quite there, 1619 is your racket. That is the most popular, at least in the States. Okay, so that's the half transitional in racket as I call it. Um, the, other, the other two half transitional rackets in would be like the E-Zone 98, right? It's kind of the same level as a strike, right? As long as, long as you, you know, can hit through the ball, um, you need just a little more power, it's got great feel, this would be the one for you. I mean, I call this one the racket of the year. If you're that person who can't tote around the stand racket yet, 
because it's either too heavy or not enough power, then this is the one you play with. So not quite there, we go these two. But these are great rackets, okay? Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. These are great rackets. And, and when I talk about college players, I'm talking about both men and women. Um, all these rackets that I'm talking about today, both ways. So those were the easy transitions, the easy transitions in. Um, I'm gonna actually also toss in the MP version of this too. So the Speed MP version, this is the Pro, but the MP version of this uh, would be in that category too. So that's my top three easy transition rackets for that college player or that would be college player, okay? So now I'm gonna be talking about what I see a lot of college players use and what I recommend most kids use as you know they grow into college age um, to adulthood, right? You are now full size, you are now super strong, you are now you know ready to go. You don't need any more power anymore. We're throwing that security blanket out. One of my favorites, this V-Corp Pro 97 um, in the 310 range though, in the 310 gram version. The 330, if you're a big boy and you can tote around 330 grams with four strings, then go for it. Um, that would be even better, but most people can't do that. So this would be the easier um, racket to get into. Um, ultimate control, great spin, great feel. I love this racket for college kids, right? Another one, another one would be this gravity line. I love this gravity line. I mean, the whole line, whether you go MP, whether you go tour, whether you go pro, um, this whole line are flexible rackets. You generate your own power. You get great feel, right? You can, you know, whack it down the line um, pretty easily with these guys. Uh, with your own power, you can pretty much hit past people because uh, you're strong enough now. And these rackets will help you do that. Um, the only question about these rackets is, do you go green or do you go red, right? But that's the question you have to answer which way you're gonna hold it. But gravities are great. The whole line, except for the lights and all that, but the, you know, the regular, the regular weighted versions would be great for college kids. Now for the ultimate college kid that I've seen, a lot of Europeans use this, um, not too many Americans anymore. But if you want the ultimate control and you hit through the ball, perfectly balanced all the time, these are your rackets. Now, I used to see a ton of college kids use these. These were like the number one rackets in college, the number one rackets in the pros. Um, they're the ultimate in control. If you have the power, these have the control. That's how good these are. These rackets, like they've been making a prestige for over 25 years. And, you know, I feel like the kids are less and less amped to getting into these just because, you know, there's not a lot of power in these anymore. But, but these are great. I mean, hey, if you're hitting through the ball and you're pro level, college level, high college level, these really should be your rackets. Um, the Pro, the MP, uh, both great. The Tour is kind of the cheater one, so I probably wouldn't recommend that, but definitely the Pro and the MP. Um, if you really want to make it hard for yourself and you're that good, go for the mid. The mid is the ultimate pro college level uh, racket. The number one racket that I see everywhere, every college, um, you guys see it in the pros too on TV, right? The blades, the blades, these are number one. These are number one. Why is it number one? Okay, the ultimate college level racket, even into the pros, Wilson blades. Why are these so popular? Why are these so good? Well, it's actually a medium weighted racket that's pretty headlight. You can get this thing pretty 
you know, pretty fast around with a great amount of top, um, decent amount of power. You don't, like I said, you guys don't really need that much power. So um, these are perfect for you. I see a lot of these being customized, so they're very customizable. Uh, so they start off with a great base weight and great base balance, and then you can kind of alter it to whatever you want. Uh, and I see lead all over the place on these things. Uh, whether you're European or American, I see a ton of these. Uh, it's probably my number one strung racket on the college level. Um, everybody uses this and they love this. Um, even I recommend this racket to that 16 year old who's transitioning from a pure drive or a pure arrow. Um, less power, pretty easy transition. Um, it's basically like one of those rackets, but you know, brought back, brought back, brought back in power and brought back in, uh, well, pretty much brought back in power because you don't need the power anymore. So this is my, you know, my number one seller in that category. Uh, but all of these are great. All of these are great. You can't lose with any of the ones I talked about. All right, so I hope that helped you. Um, I hope, you know, you guys try these rackets and transition into these because we don't need a stiff racket anymore. We need a control racket. All right, so thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.